In this video, I'm gonna buy, build, and test over 20 different weapons in LEGO. And at the very end, I'm gonna use them to fight another YouTuber in an ultimate LEGO war. So anyway, let's go. Okay, so this first weapon we're gonna look at is a DIY LEGO crossbow. And I'm gonna use a rubber band to add a working spring mechanism that can shoot with the pull of this trigger. And for the arrows, I'm gonna use a straw, which is hollow inside, so it should be able to fly through the air really fast. This is a LEGO projectile launcher. It's a tiny LEGO brick with a spring inside side of it, and it can fit these tiny darts that shoot when you touch them. You can connect multiple together to shoot two at a time, or even three. So that's why I built this Lego pistol, and it can shoot ten of them at a time. Basically, when you pull on the trigger, it moves this lever that activates every dart. So let's see if we can take down some minifigs. <laughs> Okay, targets have been eliminated. And just for fun, let's see if we can take down an entire army of minifigs with 72 of these shooters. Oh my gosh, that was so satisfying. Only two people survived that. For this next weapon, I'm gonna build a life-size sword that looks like something you'd see during medieval times. To make the sword very strong, I reinforced it with plates, and I used slope pieces to keep the edges sharp. It's got a textured handle for good grip and a guard. But to test if this is actually a good sword, we're gonna try to smite some cucumbers. Oh, look at that, the brown pieces broke. I think I was maybe too aggressive with that hit, so let's try a couple more. There you go, that worked. Okay, that was pretty easy, so we're gonna step it up another level and try to cut open a watermelon. Nope. Okay, the watermelon cracked and there's juice coming out. Okay, it took five hits for it to split in half. The next Lego weapon we're gonna build is a butterfly knife. It's basically a knife with two handles instead of one. So because of that, you can do a lot of really cool tricks with them. And there's some people out there who are extremely good at these. And aside from being a weapon, this thing's also kind of like a fidget toy. It's really satisfying. Okay, for these next few weapons, they're actual Lego sets that you can buy on their website. So I ordered some in the mail. The first one is this life-sized replica of Captain America's shield, which costed $200 and it's made from over 3,000 pieces. Let's go. I'm starting to feel the spirit of America right now. Also, this has got to be the most satisfying building technique I've ever seen in the Lego set. Okay, this set is intended to be a display item, so there's no handle on the back to actually grab it with, so I ended up adding my own. And now that I can grab it, we're going to put it to the test and see if it actually functions like a real shield. So we're going to see how it can hold up to some water balloons. <laughs> One water balloon completely broke off like half of it. Bruh. Well, it's gone now. Look at all that damage. The second Lego set I bought is another superhero weapon, but this time it's a life-size replica of Thor's hammer. It costed $100 and has almost 1,000 pieces, but legends say in order to pick it up, you have to be worthy. But we're gonna put it to the test and see how powerful it is. So let's start by smashing some nuts. Okay, that honestly was no problem, so let's step it up a notch and see if we can destroy a soda can. Shoot, it literally destroyed the hammer. Ooh, there's actually coke coming out of the can. See that? Oh. Okay, that one actually works, but uh, now there's coke all over the hammer. Okay, now the ultimate test. What's stronger, Captain America's shield or Thor's hammer? Okay, the shield took a lot more damage than the hammer, so I'd say the hammer won that. Now take a trip with me to the continent of Asia, because this next weapon comes from the country of Japan and their ninja stars. Basically, it's a very deadly looking snowflake. So I set up some balloons in my house, and let's see if we can pop them. Here we go. Woo! Let's go! Last one. <laughs> oh crap, I put a dent in my wall. They should do this at birthday parties. Another Asian weapon are nunchucks. To make this, I'm gonna build two long handles and connect it together with this Lego chain. And this actually feels and looks like a real nunchuck. Great, now I gotta fix it. There's a lot of different tricks we can do, like up and down, behind the back, and other crazy combos. Cobra Kai never dies. This next Lego weapon I built is known as a blowgun, and it's an ancient weapon that was used by indigenous people around the world. They shoot darts, so I built my own in Lego using the sharpest tipped Lego piece I could find. This weapon is very simple. You simply put your mouth on it, and then you blow it. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that's sick. Let's try out some quick target practice. So here's a piece of toilet paper that I grabbed from my bathroom. Ooh, we put a hole through it. 
It looks like it's actually pretty effective. What if we tried building a stick of Lego dynamite? Kind of like this one for a minifig. So to build it, I'm gonna use these round red bricks and a tiny antenna piece on top to look like the piece of string you light. What if we built a Lego slingshot? This one uses two rubber bands and a net piece in the middle to fling an object. And the objects we're gonna fling are these round balls that I built. I'm gonna fill this one up with studs and let's see how explosive it is. Nice, that was pretty satisfying. Okay, now it's time to actually test out this slingshot. So here's a Lego police boat that floats in water and let's try to sink it. Whoa! This boat is built different. Okay, now this whole time we've been talking about life-size Lego weapons, but what about tiny Lego weapons for something like a minifig? This one's called a stud shooter, and like the name says, it's a tiny gun that can shoot a Lego stud. So let's see if it can take down some minifigs. Yes, it can. There's also this, and it's a Lego cannon that you can load with a tiny round brick, and if you pull this thing in the back and release it, it shoots the brick out. And if we want to build our own custom minifig-sized weapon, we can make this. It's a tiny catapult with a bucket that we can load with pieces. So let's see how many hits it takes to bring this castle to the ground. Okay, I think that took about four hits. Another Lego weapon I want to build is a lightsaber. I'm going to use these long Technic pieces to build a sturdy blade. Then I'm going to cover these ugly holes up with plates. And now that our blade is finished, I'm going to build the handle of the lightsaber. And just like that, here's a life-size Lego replica of a lightsaber. And it's actually sturdy enough to where you can do tricks with it. <laughs> What about a wand, like in Harry Potter? That's a weapon, right? So I quickly speed built one in Lego, and this is what I came up with. Oh, heck no, bro. This wand's looking goofy. Yeah, no, not that one. I'm gonna use these Lego bricks with studs on each side to build an even better wand. Sheesh, I feel like Harry Potter right now. But I wonder if we can cast a spell. Expelliarmus! Crap. I think I used the wrong spell. This next Lego weapon actually goes on your wrist, and it actually has those tiny shooters that we used earlier. Basically, with your fingers, you can pull on this lever to activate them. Dang, this feels like something that Spider-Man would have. What if we built a Lego flamethrower that actually shoots fire? So I discovered that if you light a candle and spray air freshener on it, it turns into a giant cloud of fire. So using that science, I'm gonna build my very own Lego flamethrower where the aerosol can will sit inside of this container, and I have this long piece going over the top of it. That way I can push it down with my thumb. And finally, at the very tip, there's a space to put a candle. And to make this look like a flamethrower, I added some flames on the side. So now it's time to take it outside and see if this thing actually works. Okay, ready? Oh! Oh my gosh, that's fire. No pun intended. Well, that's how you make a DIY Lego flamethrower. Please do not do this at home, by the way, okay? And I'm curious if this will catch a minifig on fire. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Okay, I wanna quickly go online and see if I can find some cool knockoff Lego weapons. The first thing I found was a Lego bazooka that shoots rockets. This actually looks sick. Let's add that to the cart. Okay, I found this machine gun looking thing. Let's get that one. I found a lot of other military stuff like the sniper rifle. Okay, now it's time to just buy it, I guess. And after waiting a week, they came in the mail. Okay, it took me two full days to build, but I successfully completed all three Lego weapons. For knockoffs, these actually look very realistic. And according to the instructions, these are supposed to apparently work like real guns. So we're gonna put them to the test by doing some quick target practice. First, let's start with the bazooka. What? That was nothing. I thought there was gonna be way more damage than that. Okay, this rocket launcher wasn't as powerful as I thought, but if you hold the gun close enough to the minifig, it does knock it over. Hey, thanks for taking it for the team. The second weapon we're gonna test is the semi-automatic gun. So I set up three minifigs as small targets. And now let's see if we can hit them. Okay, that was actually a piece of cake. And finally, for the sniper rifle, I wanna see if I can hit a shot from far away. Ooh, let's go! I got it! I'll put links below where I bought these, by the way, in case you want to check these out. So now that I have all these LEGO weapons, I'm gonna take them across the country to visit my other LEGO YouTube friend, Sacred Bricks. And I'm gonna challenge him to an ultimate LEGO war. He just got out of school, so I'm gonna pick him up. No way you just pulled up on my school. What is this? You ready to go to war with me? Yes. He hasn't done a face reveal, so I'm gonna blur his face. And he actually built some of his very own LEGO weapons that he's gonna use to fight back, including this Harry Potter one. 
wand. Expecto 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 Patrona. For this first round, we're gonna have a battle at this playground. I'll be fighting with the crossbow I made earlier, and Sacred built his very own mini Lego bow and arrow that shoots tile pieces. May the best man win. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, let's go, let's go. Started. Okay, I'm gonna get the high ground. I'm gonna get the high ground. Oh, Crap, I missed. Oh, you missed. Your shot missed. Come here, boy. I got you. I got you. All right, that's nice a dub. Job. That's a dub. For the second round, we're going to be fighting in this massive backyard with lots of obstacles to hide behind. I'm going to be fighting with the knockoff Lego gun we bought earlier, and Sacred's going to fight with his own Lego gun that shoots rubber bands. This is our spawn point right here. We got the gun. Three, two, one. Okay, go. Come on, let's secure this dub. Let's go, boys. He's right over there. I see him. I'm hiding. You're moving up, moving up. Well, this is a piece of cake. Okay, okay. <gasps> Don't rush him. Oh, I got you. Oh, shoot. Did you get me before? Shoot, we both hit each I other. I think we both hit each other at the same time. Double knockout? No way. We shot at the same time, but Sacred hit me first, so he wins this round. And for this final round, we're going to face off in an ultimate lightsaber battle because Sacred actually built a lightsaber as well. Let's compare sizes. Oh, yours is actually longer than mine. I mean, I'm not surprised. But that doesn't matter because you can't match my power. Three, two, one. Ah! Yours broke. What happened to your blade? I didn't. I ran out of plate pieces. So I couldn't reinforce it on the side. But as a Darth Lord of the Sith, yeah. I have another trick. What? Oh! Oh! Go subscribe to Sacred because he's dropping even more battles on his channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later and take care. My heart's like a Lego set. Please don't break it. I don't like Mega Blocks. Please don't fake it. Everything is lit. Yeah, everything is awesome. I know the legal tricks. Yeah, and we never stop it.